Hello and welcome back to Mordheim City of Down, the adventures of the squad of me, Barden. I'm going to pop into this deadly one here. Your scouts have discovered a rival warband in the vicinity. These warriors are clustered around their wagon, making them a very attractive target. Kate, never an attractive target. How many times do I have to tell you? But Memento suggests to me that we're against undead. Okay, and I don't recognize that name as being one of the ones that we normally see as the leader. So, it's probably the hero. Right now, let's get rid of the log and then let's place all of our guys. So we want to be up near the front. So let's get Silas up beside Sigurd if we can. Okay, almost there, there we go. And then Matthew, you can move up as well. Ah, that was a bit easier. And Leopold. Okay, there you go. Get you there. Right, so there, there we can see five question marks. So that means that there is definitely something else in the map with us. And you can see here as well that uh, Matthew here has a new hat. So there's a great suggestion in the comments that he should have a pimp hat. And he's thought that was a great thing so he's got it on his head so we stole that or we didn't steal it we claimed it from the leader of the warband that we killed last time and he's looking rather dapper actually now yeah, Sigurd what are we going to do with you buddy so there oh you can see the red line over there uh, on the map let's see so there's a lot of words on there just some words on there and then they're way, they're going to be coming that way, so... Yeah, I think we go to this one first, and then make our way up there. Okay, so let's do that with Sigurd. Mm, okay, so we have some scavenging points as well. Yeah, just, sorry, just wanted to check that. Right, now let's move. Okay, oh, okay, so we've got some words on there we don't see anything which is good i'm expecting like any time i turn a corner i'm gonna see whatever the hell it is that's on the map with us hopefully it's not one of those what they call the demonettes definitely do not want to be fighting a demonette okay let's get these so it's a couple of shards that's not bad not a bad start Okay, and then let's uh, let's get this fragment to finish. Right, that's good. Then he can ambush there. Yeah. So and trying to keep the guys in the open for the moment, because if we do run into something, I don't want people trapped in corners and stuff like that the way we did um, with Leopold that seems so long ago oh some nice gold there right seems so long ago though that that happened to him or to us should I say and then Silas you don't need to scavenge because you've already taken the money off them so let's just ambush don't see any still don't see anyone Matthew you can come forward Okay, so yeah, let's just keep going straight and then so in here there is some loot points but I think Matthew is going to go around here yeah because if something does come down that road I want you know I want either Matthew or Leopold to be who whatever the hell it is that's coming has to fight first. Okay, now Leopold buddy, let's get you on the move and after the guys, don't hit any traps please. And Leopold can just go straight in the middle of everyone, okay, good. It'd be nice to be able to allow him to move further but 
You know, there's nothing we can do about it now. Maybe in the future. But that would probably mean passing the story missions and they're going to be tough when we start them. We're just waiting on this new guy. You know, and, and I want to get the right guy. I don't want to just get someone and have them die because that's happening to us too often. Right, so Silas, you can go up here. Okay, oh, we have seen something. Okay. And he's down there at the corner. Okay. So it's a blue horror, or not, it's a pink horror. But when he dies, he's going to produce two blue horrors. So that's not something Silas really wants to be fighting. So Silas, buddy, what you're going to do is let's see there's some stuff in here yeah you pop up here okay and can you find where this stuff is okay ah there's one there okay well get the scavenging there okay some decent stuff can take the clothing okay we'll take the pendant and then we'll swap well we don't need to swap because that's already in the chest, so that's possible for us to get. It's when it's on, it's when it's on enemies that we have to swap it in there. Okay, ambush there. I love the the board on his back that says Sigmar. It's like he's hitchhiking. Okay, so I think yeah, I think he should go up that way because. We don't want him anywhere near the horror. Okay. And the idea for now is to try and get everyone at least some way away from the horror so that if it does decide to come looking up for us, maybe it'll run into the enemy instead. Okay, let's get all of this. Well, we won't be able to get all of it, but at least we'll just be able to get one more. Okay, there we go. Okay, 10 damage right at the end. And then let's move off that so someone else can get it. And then you can just go here and ambush. Okay, good. Now, Matthew, buddy. We don't really want you fighting the horror leader, but you can at least go and get the wordstone for us. Okay, so this is the decent hall here. A couple of shards and a cluster, plus a fragment on the side as well. Okay, and then let's get the last one. Beautiful. And then Matthew at least has movement to be able to get back. Par shouldn't be able to come this far, so he's going to be able to go around this way. And yeah, I kind of want him away from the wall though, just in case he gets trapped. Yeah, there is probably good. Yeah. Okay, I have to say I've been enjoying my um, more time again recently. Kind of there was not not with this series, but um, kind of towards like towards the end of last year, kind of more time was kind of mm, I was enjoying it, but not as much as as I was before. But now I'm kind of back to that level. I think maybe maybe it was. Mm, Maybe it was just, you know, the war bands I was using. I'm not sure, like what it was, but I'm still, I'm still intrigued about the, uh, about the Skaven. Like, I, I want to. I, I've never, I've never seen someone play. I'm sure there are plenty of playthroughs, but I've never seen someone play through all of the Skaven story. 
and that's something that I want to do. So I think I'm going to, you know, when I can find time, because at the moment I've just got a ton of different games that I want to play, but when I find time, I'm going to do the Skaven story as well. So maybe that will run concurrently with this playthrough, or maybe it's going to be after this warband. I'm not sure at the moment. But I'm kind of at the point now where, as I said, I'm enjoying my more time again. And, you know, it, I kind of, I look forward now to this, to, to this weekly one. I think that's part of it as well, is that when I was doing the, when I was doing the Reckless stopped. Rangers, and when I was doing the, the Undead before them, what I was doing was, I, I, my episodes were coming out more than once a week. So like it was maybe three times, I think, for the Reckless Rangers. But it meant that I had to play in, I had to play missions in bulk. So I had to do three or four missions in a row. Oh, very nice. Hold on, see what. But I had to do three or four missions in a row. And then kind of, you get a bit jaded, you know, you kind of, and then you're kind of tired at the end as well. And you're making mistakes and then the mistakes add up and then, you know, you're not, you're not as happy with, with your performance. And then that kind of detracts from your, from your, oh, hi there, from your um, enjoyment of the game. Speaking of one dead, you got a zombie over there, okay? So if we go to about here, yeah, maybe close to the wall, yeah. And then ambush, okay, so we'll catch him just as he comes around the wall. Now, yeah, Silas, buddy. You have to find wherever the other, there's supposed to be another chest in here somewhere. So I want you to go and find it. So um, I don't think, is it across here? It might be. Okay. I have a feeling it's probably up there somewhere. I don't see it though at the moment. Let's see what we can do. So I don't see anything around there. And then let's check the bottom floor. Yeah, I don't see anything in here either. But the map would suggest that it could be in the corner. Uh, no, I don't see anything there. There's nothing glowing, so it probably isn't there. Luckily, that's not a trap we just stepped on. Right, so if we come over here, yeah, we can't see the kind of the glow of a treasure chest there. So I think it's probably up above us. There's another layer up there. It's probably up there somewhere. So let's head on back. Okay, and get ourselves here and then pop up. Okay, so it's not immediately here at least. But maybe it's around the corner somewhere. Okay, now Matthew buddy. So we know the enemy have been spotted. Is it time to switch you onto your gun? I think it is. Okay. So let's place you a bit further forward. Yeah, because we want to make sure that we can that if someone does come around there, we can shoot them as they come through the hole. And then I'm, I'm gonna put them, yeah, there behind the trap I think is good if someone tries to, to charge them. Okay. Yeah, so other than more time on the channel at the moment, I just finished uh, playing through episode one of the council. So that was, my playthrough was five episodes. I really enjoyed that. And I think I'm going to, I'm going to replay it. Maybe not on the channel, but I'm definitely going to replay it. But if you like, if you like kind of story based stuff, it's, it's, it's like, um, telltale games, except it's not, it, it feels more like a game rather than like their ones that kind of have a comic book feel to them. 
um, but it feels more like a game and you can kind of you can do a bit more and I really like the system in it where you have to you, you have to pick talents and then they open options for you and then like just the mini game where you have to be quick on your mouse and stuff and there's a lot of really good stuff in that so I'm um, I really enjoy playing through it and I think that if, if you do have the chance to check it out you're probably going to enjoy that the what else then do I have uh, well let's get Leopold over here first oh some more wordstone okay can we see the zombie not really okay so while I'm picking up this this um, word zone, then I can tell you a bit more. So, um, oh, we've got Battle Brothers. Uh, Battle Brothers. Um, I'm enjoying it. I know. Um, was it? Was it Chris L? Sorry. Um, oh, sorry, Chris and Richard, but I know one of you said that you checked it out and it wasn't really your cup of tea. And that's, and as I said at the time, that's fine. Like you know, not not every game is for everybody, and I I definitely agree that we're kind of spoiled in more time with the quality of the, the, not just the quality of the graphics, but the the quality of the world. That um, you know, when you go to Battle Brothers, it is it, it is very cartoony, you know, towards this. So I can see why some will be put off by that, but. The, the game itself is fun. It's fun to play. Um, but yeah, um, that's another series you have. Then I've got my Planescape series, which is a lot of fun. Um, oh, he's gone around. Okay, so he's charged. They're fighting the pink horror. They have to be because he just charged someone and it's not us. A new so you guys have fun with that. We'll come and see if we can help you out. Or maybe help the pink horror out, depending on how things are going. But yeah, we've got Planescape going, which is a a fantastic classic RPG, and it's I'd compare it similar to this game, not in that it's a similar game, but in that the attention to detail is amazing because like that game has the best, the best. What'd you call it? Oh. Of course, the word goes out of my head. But basically, the background sounds. So the atmospheric sound in the game, in that game, is the best I've, I've heard in any game before or since. Because the guys just did an amazing job on it. Like when when you go into a crowded situation, it sounds like a crowd. You know, when when you're near a marketplace, you can hear people um, hawking their stuff and all that kind of stuff. And it just has all those little extra sounds, just kind of layers of sounds and stuff, and it feels very genuine. And I think if if those guys made a game today, you know, it would be kind of a combination of this game, the Winter Vision Sin Two, and then just the, their expertise in stuff like sound as well. I think it'd be an amazing, amazing game. So um, that's kind of. If, some, if someone's out there and you know they have a magic wand and they want to grant someone a game, give me that. I might ask you for another game then because I've got a lot of other ones, but that's definitely one that I would absolutely play the absolute hell out of. Right, so we're playing that. Then obviously Sun the Sea. In Sun the Sea, we're getting very close to our new ship, which we've been doing like for what's it, 100, 130 odd episodes of that now. And I'm still enjoying that game because it's so story rich. It sucks you into the world and um, kind of it's so relaxing to play as well. Like it's really, really fun. Then I have Fort Triumph. Uh, Fort Triumph, you know, that's been fun. Um, I had someone on my videos recently saying, oh, your tactics are terrible and you suck and blah, blah, blah. And um, so I had a bit of a chat with him. In my comments and stuff, I'm just saying, talking about, you know, okay, yeah, I'm not the. Oh. Game got a bit stuck there. I'm gonna try rebooting. But anyway, yeah, so just saying to me, listen, be respectful. I, I don't mind people calling me out on, you know, poor oh, tactics and stuff because. I, I do a lot of stupid things. <laughs> I definitely do a lot of stupid things. And I'm very glad for Chris and Richard 
to help me improve my more time play and you know it that's if i if i'm doing other tactical games i hope you guys watch me as well because you know your your tactical advice is so so important for me let's get rid of this log okay so now hopefully we fixed because that was stuck on age as well as platinum away there um, but hopefully that's fixed it now right so silas buddy let's get you moving and then i'm also playing um legends of valaria so legends of valaria is a very ambitious indie game and you know at the moment it's in early access there's still a lot to be done in that game but it's still fun to play it as as it is it's just that you you know when you play it um you do kind of run out of content pretty soon like you'd probably get i i'd say you get about 10 hours of play out of it at the moment whereas in the future it's going to be something like more time where you're going to get hundreds oh did i just ambush him when i could jump down maybe i ran out of pills i wasn't paying attention but let's move up here so we can see the pink or well we got a glimpse of the pink horror okay so we've got some stuff to check here um now what are we gonna do so sigward so we see the pink horror up there they seem to be taking care of it pretty yeah it's gonna die pretty soon and they're hardly damaged look that are any of them they're not if they are damaged it's not pretty much and then the leader seems to be stuck on the cart back there okay yeah back here look the lead so whenever you see someone like that on the map and they're right beside the cart it only means they they're getting stuck on it because they're trying to path to something and they the ai just can figure it out so we're going to back off a little bit to here okay and then we're going to ambush because when that pink horror dies it's go it should produce two blue horrors and we want them to target the undead rather than us so we don't we don't want to be going oh hi over here come hit us we definitely don't want that to happen <laughs> Right, so I think I've updated you on all the games that I'm playing at the moment, but there is going to be a new game starting um, this coming week. I'm not sure exactly what it's going to be yet. I'd, at the moment, like with the likes of the council, I'm trying to get kind of games that I can play in a shorter time span, so I can kind of do one every couple of weeks or one every month or so, like that one. The first episode I could I got to be I was able to do in a week, you know. So I want to have kind of my long run is running series like this, and then also have uh, kind of shorter, shorter um, series as well. Now Leopold, you're going to go and have a look at what's going on. So first thing I want you to do is to scavenge here. Okay, two formulas. Well, the formulas are always good, so let's swap them for some fragments, please. Swap, please, please, please swap. There we go. Okay. Now, lady, I'm sure those fragments are going to be of great use to you. Now, we do have some wordstone over there. A couple, three clusters. Okay. So maybe someone can get there. It depends. Leopold is full. So it depends how we do things with everyone else, really. But let's ambush. No. Um, yeah. Of course he has to web of steel. I was thinking of ambushing, but then my brain just said, no. It's got to be web of steel. It's Leopold. That's what he does. Right. Let's try by pain. So let's try on you. Claudius. Claudius. Oh, miss. Okay. I think that leaf blowing by put me off let's reload and try again okay two misses but there were low percentage chance chances okay let's back him off A so that he's not the first person to be attacked now Sigurd buddy let's cut this corner uh, actually no Let's go around. 
Okay, his backpack is full. Okay, I was thinking of getting those clusters because they're, they're so tempting. Look, but we don't have any space, so he's just gonna sidestep there. I just want to see what happens when that pink horror dies. Or has it already... I should have actually checked has it already died. I don't think it has though. But we're gonna keep our distance until we're sure. Let's pop this stuff in here. And then he can just ambush there. But yeah, as I'm talking about my series, I may as well just talk a little bit about the channels. Oh, Terror Success, okay. Oh, yeah, there goes the horror. Okay, and there's the new ones. Okay, so we saw one blinking in there. I think both of them are there beside them. Okay, and he's putting down his gravestone thing imaging. Okay. Oh, yeah, and thanks for that. But as I was saying, the... Um, the the channel so I have to say I've been I I feel I'm very lucky with my channel like as I said I've got um, you know great people who who post comments very helpful comments like um, Richard and Chris do and then um, got like the likes of game night and a few others as well of my YouTube buddies who do the same and it's so great like to have people like that around the channel and then also recently, channel has been growing a bit, so not too bad. At the, the turn of the year, I was kind of I was kind of hanging around the hundred mark, kind of going up and down a bit, kind of you know the hundred, hundred six, hundred four, hundred eight, that kind of thing. But then um, recently, we have a, had a bit of growth, and you know, for a small channel, a little spurt of growth is always great for the confidence. You know, it's 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 just great because. Sometimes you're making these videos and you're thinking, you know, is anyone enjoying them? You get that kind of crisis of confidence and I'm sure there's people who think my stuff is absolute garbage. And, you know, that's fair enough. That's that's their opinion. But it's nice to know that there are some people who like it. I like it enough to subscribe. I like it enough to keep watching, which I'm very grateful for. And, and you know, and I don't think, I don't think no matter you know how big or small my channel is in the future you know that that's ever going to get old for me you know that uh people actually take the time to to watch me playing i think that's fantastic and also you know i i do try let's have a shot at this guy though before we um do anything else so we don't want to shoot you though, we want to shoot... No, we do not want to shoot Mr. Blue Horror. Sorry Mr. Blue Horror, the game's trying to make me shoot you. We want to find someone else to shoot. 50% chance. Okay. Maybe from here we should get... Okay, trial by pain. Right, so let's try giving it to you, because you're our target to kill, and of course you miss you. Okay, good. <laughs> but yeah, I'll always be grateful to people who take the time to watch my stuff. And then, you know, sort of doubly grateful to those of you who take the time to, you know, do things like hit the like button, post some comments, because started. that's huge help for me. You know, any, any kind of either help for me to be a better player or words of encouragement or anything along those lines are always hugely welcome. So again, thank you for that. Now, Sigurd. Yes, yeah, stare at those clusters. We want the clusters, but we can't. We have to get in here. We have to get fighting. Okay, so he can come around here. Idol of Death. Okay, let's kill you. Okay, we did 49 of 50. So let's now finally kill it, because then the blue horrors will hopefully survive a bit longer, and then we can double up on someone. So let's double up on you. And then dodge. Yeah, he failed his fear test. Now he's insulting us. 
Okay. Ooh, lovely rotten touch. Wow, that's a lot of damage for Sigurd to take, actually. Why did he get dumbfounded at the start? And then he, another bloody idol of death. Ah, but he failed. Ha ha ha. And you failed again. Good. Blow up, please. No? Okay. Zombies are great um, henchmen because they're very tanky and they can do they can do a fair amount of damage as well. See that? Yeah. Kill the blue horror between them. Okay, so he's parried, so Leopold can hopefully get through that parry. Yes he can, good. Come on, Leopold, buddy. Yeah, Leopold is the type that he kind of wears down opponents rather than just kind of, he doesn't really, you know, decimate them. He just soaps up their damage and then deals out. You know, it seems like small damage because he's just doing like 20 odd or 30. Oh God, this guy's coming. Oh, yeah, that's a lot of damage, see? That's like, that's more than two of Sigurd's hits. In one swing there but Sigurd can as I said he can kind of soak it up and dish it out but he's he can do about 120 over his four or five hits depending on um, how things work out but let's get Matthew involved up here so this zombie I think has to die pretty soon so we can save Sigurd Because Sigurd is not going to be able to take on the leader on his own. So we need to get someone else over there. ASAP. Whether that's Matthew or whether it's Leopold, we'll have to see. Matthew might get tied down now if someone else decides to come say hi. A new round has started. Okay. Sigurd, we need to get rid of the zombie. So we can free up that space for someone else. Okay, good. Good job, buddy. Nice kill. And you, you're kind of protected because they're, they're going to go either for, for Matthew or for Leopold because they can't really get to you. Right, now Silas. Buddy, buddy, buddy. The, the flagellant signal has gone up in the air and you have to go save your buddy. Alright, so Matthew, you get to plug this gap here, which is good. Okay, and pass the fear test. Okay, and you pass the miss test, apparently. Let's see if you can pass the hit test. Well, there's the dodge test. Go on, hit him. You know you want to. Come on, buddy. Get that hit in. Yes, okay. Okay, that's decent. Yeah, again, our guys kind of, you know, they don't deal huge amounts of damage. They just, if they can consistently hit, they can do pretty well. Okay. Wow, he had two checks and he passed both of them. That's not good for us. Okay, and, okay so they're going after Matthew now. Right, ah, there you go. Have a reply from us, eh? Oh, and then we're overcharged. Okay, nice. Thanks for that. Heart failure. Oh god, we're gonna have a heart attack or something. Right, he's coming around. Oh, thankfully he didn't get to Sigurd. So we should be able to get Silas in to help. Now, you're our target, so you have to die. We've got him. Well, he is down below half health. Whether we've got him there or not is another thing, but he is down below half health. Let's swear with steel so we can soak up all that damage. Still worried about Sigurd though. Okay, he's taunting us. 
I'm gonna chop your head off. Haha, <laughs> you missed. Oh, don't taunt him. He might kill us. Why don't... Oh, ho, ho, nice dodge. And then he taunts... What are you taunting us about, huh? Saying something about the pimp pan, are you? Well, we might have to turn around and hit you. Right, Silas. Coming to save your buddy. Uh, okay, so he's through there. Ambition. Can we get on here on the edge before he gets us? No, we can't. Oh, 61. Wow. Right, well, let's bash you back then. Oh, maybe not then. Let's try again. Oh, he countered us. Wow, he's done over 100 damage to us already. And suddenly Silas is in a bit of trouble. <laughs> hey, I'm coming to save my buddy. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, we're not going to flee. Although it's... Uh, no, no stance is not good for him. So suddenly both of our flagellants are in a bit of trouble. Okay. The bat dodging us. Come on, get, get a crit. Okay, 39 is decent damage. It's going to take a while, though, to kill him at 30 and 40 damage a go. Now, Matthew, terror test pass. Good. This is the guy. We, I have to go for him because if I can get a lucky crit, then, you know, that kind of buys us time. Oh, that wasn't a lucky crit, was it? Okay, let's try again. Okay, we're hitting him. We're doing not great damage, though. That was like the minimum damage we could have done. Okay, there's the maximum. Without a crit, that is. And we're not going to dodge. We need to sidestep. Which gives us extra dodginess. Okay, so hopefully he's gonna come after us. Now you Okay, you're focusing, okay? What are you focusing on? We're focusing on Matthew. Haha! -ha. He's got his dodge though. Now, let's hit you back. Oh, overcharging us again, okay. Ah, nice dodge. But he's is burning our dodges for Oh, nice parry. He is burning our dodges for the leader, though. Now. Oh. Wow, Silas is in a lot of trouble. Yeah. Ouch, ouch, ouch. That overcharge is no joke either, is it? Okay. Got through your dodge, though. Oh, and a crit, but no stun. That stun would have been beautiful. I love that overcharge graphic. It's really cool, isn't it? With all the stuff shooting out of him. Right, now let's get our web steel on. Yeah, so Leopold has him handled. That's the fight I'm least worried about. This is the fight I'm most worried about. Oh, see that dodge there? Haha! <laughs> Sigurd can do it too, eh? Any taunts us? Stupid Pimpat. Yeah, we'll show you about stupid Pimpat. A new round has started. Right, Sigurd. Get him, buddy. Oh, oh, that was a decent hit. Through his dodge too. Okay, that's that's pretty good. That's almost 80 damage. He's done. And then he can sidestep. Okay, feeling a bit more confident, but it just takes one hit and then we're screwed. Right, Silas, buddy. You need to... I was going to say put him on his ass, but that wasn't really putting him on his ass, was it? Okay, you hit him. So if we were both starting at our maximum, maybe you'd have a chance, but he's he's got you down pretty low. Matthew, you need your crit. Okay, that's not a crit, buddy. Definitely not a crit. Try again. Okay, still not a crit. Okay, that's decent damage though. 
Okay. So he's gonna be around one more round. We sh uh, I was gonna say we should be able to kill next round, but <laughs> that's not that's not necessarily true. Okay, he missed us. Then we parry him. Okay, then we get to poke him. This guy should should be gone soon though. He should be gone this round. Which means that Leopold can go help against that zombie back there. Yep, yeah, so there we go. Let's take you out. <laughs> it's a Leopold should be freed up now. Oh, but is this guy gonna kill us before that happens? Oh, that's not good. Lucky he didn't get that first, because then he probably would have killed us. Right, so we need to get this guy's uh, memento. Uh, you can have a shard instead. And then we're going to swap this stuff in and out. So we have a chance of getting in. Objective completed. Okay. Now, zombie boy. You're at 182 and you're at 89. Yeah, look, the zombie always has much as much health as the leader. In terms of like starting, so I still think though doubling up in the zombie is the way to go, because the zombie needs another target to hit. Even though the leader is going next, and he could potentially kill Sigurd, I think the zombie is the guy that needs to die. Mm, debating, debating, debating. Yep, this way. Okay. Die, Mr. Zombie. Here we go. Straight through your dodge. Okay, that's decent. Alright, so the zombie should die next round. It's whether he kills Silas before that happens. Okay, that miss could be costly in that regard. Let's web steel and hope that he goes for us. Silas should have stood up by then. And maybe we should, uh, well, let's see. Okay, we're doing pretty good dodging against this guy, though. Okay. New round. A new round has started. Okay, Silas, buddy. If you can disengage, that is the only thing that you should do. Because there's no way that zombie's going to kill Leopold. And then you get to live. Then you can come over here. And if you get the chance, you can take some of those clusters for us. Okay. Ah, ouch. That guy's dead and his overcharge is still messing us up. Okay, let's bash you. Don't think he can kill you, but Matthew should be able to. And then once he dies, that's it. It's over, isn't it? Okay, so Matthew, buddy, finish him off. Okay, there we go. So deadly, nobody went out of action. We did come close with a couple of guys, in fairness, but still, we did a pretty good job. Okay, so hopefully we get some of that stuff as well. Now, when the zombie acts, I'm expecting it to, uh, they're gonna fail, but we may as well just come over here and bash him a bit anyway, just in case he doesn't. But we save both of our um, flagellants, which is great, because even if they pass, the zombie's not killing us. Okay, and there's the failure. Well done, guys. Right, so Matthew, most valuable warrior. I think he was because he was the one that kind of went in there and saved Sigurd and got rid of um, that other dude, along with Leopold, obviously. The extra rewards, mm, Amulet of Pain, looked not great, are they, for a deadly? And then we only got one shard as well from the map. And remorseless. 
These are the virtues of a witch hunter. Never rest in your pursuit of the damned. Offer no respite to the heretic. Okay. Light wounds, obviously. I'm glad I know that now, nice that if they, if they don't get knocked out, they only get light wounds. Ah, Sigurd Your is up to is nine. Nice. Stronger. Squad up to eight. We're really making progress now. So we really want to get that new guy as soon as we can. Okay, so former fortitude jumping at speed. Okay, interesting. Let's pay this. Okay, so we've got two days to pass. So what I'm going to do is, I, as I'm doing all this admin stuff, uh, but what I shall do is, I'm going to end the video here as I move on the couple of days. And I'll look at new people and stuff like that. But for now, that's it for me. It doesn't look like there's anyone that we want to hire. So as always, if you have enjoyed, please consider hitting that like button, share with a friend or two on your favorite social media. And I really hope to see all of you next time. Goodbye. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, Maybe you'll hit the subscribe button there on the right and check out some other videos here on the left.